Today I'd like to cover the events on the first day of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Here, as you see in the picture behind me, we have the empty tomb. And the tomb is empty because Jesus is no longer there. He's risen from the dead. When the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, and Salome brought spices so that they might go and anoint him. And very early on the first day of the week when the sun had risen, they went to the tomb. And they were saying to one another, Who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance of the tomb? Suddenly there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord came down from heaven, rolled aside the stone, and sat on it. His face shone like lightning, and his clothing was white as snow. The guards shook with fear when they saw him, and they fell into a dead faint. So when the women arrived, they found that the stone had been rolled away from the entrance. So they went in, but they didn't find the body of the Lord Jesus. As they stood there puzzled, two men suddenly appeared to them clothed in dazzling robes. The women were terrified and bowed their faces to the ground. Then the men asked, Why are you looking among the dead for someone who is alive? He isn't here. He is risen from the dead. Remember what he told you back in Galilee, that the Son of Man must be betrayed into the hands of sinful men and crucified, and that he would rise again on the third day. Then they remembered that he had said this, so they rushed back from the tomb to tell his eleven disciples. It was Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary the mother of James, and several other women who told the apostles what had happened. But the story sounded like nonsense to the men, so they didn't believe it. Now Mary Magdalene, she ran and found Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved. She said, They have taken the Lord's body out of the tomb. Uh, we don't know where they have put him. Peter and the other disciple started out for the tomb. They were both running, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. And he stooped and looked in and saw the linen wrappings lying there. But he didn't go in. Then Simon Peter arrived and went inside. He also noticed the linen wrappings lying there, while the cloth that had covered Jesus' head was folded up and lying apart from the other wrappings. Then the disciple who had reached the tomb first also went in, and he saw and believed. For until then they still hadn't understood the scripture that said Jesus must rise from the dead. Then they went home. In the meantime, while this was going on, the guards had got up and reported the empty tomb to the authorities. The authorities bribed the guards to say that the body was stolen. And they kept that lie to this day. So according to the scriptures, Mary returns to the tomb, and she was standing outside the tomb crying as she wept. She stooped and looked in. She saw two white-robed angels, one sitting at the head and the other at the foot, at the place where the body of Jesus had been lying. So if you look at this picture, you'll see that there's a picture of the mercy seat. The blood of the atonement was sprinkled on the mercy seat. Jesus is our atonement for our sin. So when you see the two angels sitting, one at the foot, one at the head, its appearance is like that of the mercy seat and the blood that Jesus shed is in between. Dear woman, why are you crying? The angels asked her. Because they have taken away my Lord, and I don't know where they have put him. She turned to leave and saw someone standing there. It was Jesus, but she didn't recognize him. Dear woman, why are you crying? Jesus asked her. Who are you looking for? She thought he was the gardener. Sir, if you have taken him away, Tell me where you have put him, and I will go and get him. Mary, Jesus said. She turned to him and cried out, Rabboni, which is in Hebrew for teacher. Don't cling to me, Jesus said, for I haven't ascended to the Father. But go find my brothers and tell them I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene found the disciples and told them, I have saved the Lord. Then she gave them his message. Still on that same day, Jesus appears to Clopas and another disciple on their way to Emmaus. And they were talking about the things that were going on that day as they walked. And Jesus came alongside them. And Jesus asked them, what were they talking about? They told Jesus of the crucifixion and of their disappointment. But we had hoped that he was the one to redeem Israel. Yes, and besides all this, it is now the third day since these things happened. Moreover, some women of our company amazed us. 
They were at the tomb early in the morning, and they did not find his body. And they came back saying that they had even seen a vision of angels who said that he was alive. Some of those who were with us went to the tomb and found it just as the woman had said, but him they did not see. So as they walked and they got to their destination, they asked Jesus if he would come in and dine with them. And so Jesus went in to dine with them, and when he was at the table with them, he took the bread and blessed it and broke it and gave it to them. And their eyes were opened, and they recognized him, and he vanished from their sight. These men were so excited, they walked all the way back, seven miles back to Jerusalem to tell the disciples what they had seen. When they got there, the disciples said, Yes, the Lord has risen indeed, and he has appeared to Simon. On the evening of that day, the first day of the week, the doors were being locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews. Jesus came and stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples were glad when they saw the Lord. And while they still disbelieved for joy and were marveling, he said to them, Have you anything here to eat? And they gave him a piece of broiled fish, and he took it and ate before them. Jesus is not a spirit. Jesus is not some ghost. Jesus is a person. And he ate that fish to show that he was real and he was alive and he was in his resurrected body. Jesus ministered on the earth for 40 days in many different ways. But I just wanted to cover what happened on the first day. And I want to cover what happened on the last day. And when he had said these things, they were looking up and he was lifted up and a cloud took him out of their sight. And, and while they were gazing into heaven as he went, behold, two men stood by them in white robes and said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking into heaven? This Jesus who was taken up from you into heaven will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. Are you ready for the return of Jesus? He's coming in the clouds, and he's coming to receive you and me. Let's all get ready to receive Jesus Christ when he returns.